Hello, YouTube family members and friends. We're at the Desert Botanical Garden for Las Noches de las Luminarias. This is an annual event here at the Desert Botanical Garden that they've been having since 1978. Every Christmas season, they set up luminarias around the garden and uh, they're lit at night and they've got light displays and it's just an opportunity to see the garden in a different light and raise some money for the garden. First, we're gonna go in and have some dinner at Gertrude's at the restaurant and then we'll go in to the event and we'll take you along with us. Yes, thank you for joining us. Yes. Like, I'm cold already. I know, the sun's still up. Yeah, the sun's up and I'm cold already. Like, I'm gonna definitely go back to the car and get my jacket. Look at how pretty this is with the bridge. Yeah. Health and safety reminders, mask up, stay apart. These are pieces by the artist Chihuly. Several years back they had a bunch of his work here and then they kept these as permanent. We are seated outside at Gertrude's looking mm. at the menu. What looks good to you, dear? Let's get up kind of a lot of things like an appetizer and a salad and then we can share okay yeah oh it looks completely remodeled yeah with, um, on the outside patio and it is lovely yeah we haven't yeah. been here for two three years maybe two two years I yeah think. yeah yeah they've changed the front part a lot they've redone the um, gift, shop gift shop and the was this here before? Not, not like this I don't yeah think. that this patio, patio over there was open yeah. but not over here so Things are different, which is great. Very comfortable um, yep. to be here with um, all the reminders, the signage, and then the um, uh, low capacity. Yeah. I think we're we're going to be yeah. enjoying. Yes. Our reservation to go into the garden isn't until 7.30, but we made a dinner reservation for 5.45 here at Gertrude's, which is named after the founder of the garden. Gertrude. Saw her last name, I forgot what it was, but yep. So they've got some good looking stuff here. So yeah. we'll decide and then we'll show you when it comes. What'd you get, dear? I got a hot mulled cider and it has cranberry, orange, pomegranate juice, cranberry simple, citrus, spices, blackberry, pear cider. How is it? Oh. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. It smells good and it tastes good. And it's hot. And it's warm, yeah. All right, I'm gonna try the cider. Mm. Wow, that is really strong flavored, but it's good. It is, it's good. Okay, our appetizer has come, and these are elote fritters. So basically it's street corn mm -hmm. turned into corn fritters. What's in it, dear? So it's corn and cotilla cheese, cilantro, and lime aioli. Ooh. Yeah. Does it taste like street corn at the fair? You know the um, corn dog batter? Uh huh. <laughs> the cheese. <laughs> corn dog batter with cheese. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what it reminds me of. It is so good. Those are good. They remind me of hush puppies. Yeah, but with a little kick. There's actual pieces of corn in it too, so that's right. really nice. They're done really nicely. They got the sauce on the outside, the aioli. Mm-hmm. I could eat like a 
like a whole plate. <laughs> Of yeah, beef. they just need to bring two more bowls and that'll be dinner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. Look at how pretty our salad is. I know. That is a huge salad. We ordered the large because we we're going to share it. But wow. You four people could eat off this. We've still got entrees coming after this and after our corn fritters. <laughs> Glad we're going to be walking around the garden cuz we're going to need to walk around. But this has got arugula, dried cherries, and um, what was the goat cheese again? It was black pepper feta cheese. Mm -hmm. Oreo like that. And then mandarin segments. And the dressing is pomegranate vinaigrette. Oh, I'm going to definitely like that. This is going to be good. <laughs> I think you really have to like arugula to like this salad. It's not just like a mix of No, greens. when they said arugula salad, it is arugula. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, the pomegranate dressing mm. with the walnuts. Mm. All right, salad slayed. <laughs> it looked like a lot of salad, but we managed to eat it all. Okay, I got duck confit enchiladas. There's like three of them here, and they've got duck inside, cheese and sauce. And then this is um, rice verde. I guess it's got some kind of green sauce in it. And refried black beans, so let's give it a try. That is really good. It's like the best dark meat, turkey, chicken, duck in the world. It's moist and soft. Really good. The enchilada sauce is great. Lots of cheese. That's really good. I have the risotto with wild mushroom, roasted sweet corn, uh, more arugula, uh, Parmesan cream and truffle oil with uh, a side of shrimp. I was told that the bowl is very hot, so I'm gonna just wait a minute. Mm. My goodness, this food is so good. Probably because it's grown. They have like a garden. Mm. So I think everything's like grown here at the Botanical Garden for the restaurant. And some shrimp. I have a shrimp. Mm. Mm. Wow. It's just so good. Very flavorful. I really can taste the mushroom. There's a, kid, there's a kitty cat. Hi, kitty kitty. Hi, little kitty. Kitty. <laughs> May I help you? There's a lot of cilantro in the rice. Kind of beans. The beans look red. I think they're black beans. Mm. They're just really mashed. Mm. That's almost like a puree. Mm. There's a lot of cumin in it. And I can see our cat friend out of the corner of my eye. He's just mm. sitting there. Kitty, kitty, kitty. That was delicious. And I'm the so full. I know, we we're both stuffed. Yeah. The portions are very generous here. Yes. But um, it was delicious. Now we have to go walk off our dinner yes. in the luminari in the, um, in the garden. Yep. Yeah, we definitely need a walk <laughs> if we can get up from the table. It's really beautiful out here, but it's kind of dark. 
we're wearing our flashing Mickey necklaces so we'll be able to find each other. Yes. The colors of these plants are amazing. I mean, they've added lighting to them, but they look completely different here at night. All of the walkways around the garden are lit by these luminarias, and they're all hand lit by volunteers. That is an actual candle burning in there. This is a really cool colored glass display with names of some of the larger supporters of the garden. This is a garden of giant swaros and a boojum tree and they've got the colored lights on them. Very stunning at night. Yeah. These gardens. are huge. These are bigger than the ones we saw at the yeah. swirl. Yeah, like those trunks. Uh-huh. You know, it's almost like two different experiences. Yeah. When you come like at nighttime, mm -hmm. it's like one garden. And then when you come in the daytime and you can kind of see all the details of each cactus and yep. how they display each collection, it's like two different experiences. Same garden. Like night and day. Uh-huh. They also have a couple locations Throughout the garden where you can stop and buy little nibblies and beverages. And you've got tables to sit down and just relax at. Well, that was a good time, wasn't it, dear? Oh, it was lovely. Yeah. And it was such a nice evening. Yeah, it's kind of cool, but just throw a jacket on and keep moving, and mm -hmm. it was nice. And shout outs to the Desert Botanical Garden. They did an amazing job with social distancing and all the safety precautions. Um, it was very comfortable to be out here and do something that, you know, we've done this before, um, but uh, it was very different not the same but they did an excellent job yep yep and it's a whole different experience from mm -hmm. daytime to nighttime mm -hmm. but my battery light is flashing so oh. i think we better say good night we thank god for all the blessings that he gives us mm -hmm. not just for our good but ultimately for his glory